hey what's up guys i'm lan here welcome back to a new video on my channel in this video i'm going to talk about ios 17 beta 3 update on my iphone 10 so as you can see from the screenshot it came in about 836.1 mb and the update size will vary if you have a different device for my iphone 10 it came in about 836.1 mb and this feature includes some of the new features and resolved issues so in this video we can take a look at what are the new changes and what are the resolved issues you can expect with ios 17 beta 3 so make sure you watch this video till the end but before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on this channel do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel now with that being said let's get right into the video all right guys so the first things first if i go to the general about section and you can see that ios version is 17 and if i click on that you can see that the new build number with ios 17 beta 3 update is 21a 52778 so i can say that the, the, the beta public release for this ios 17 is very soon probably by end of this week or next week uh, people should be able to get ios 17 who have installed the you know beta profile or they have registered for ios 17 public beta this have been the developer beta let me show you that if i go to the software updates so as you can see that in the beta section if i click on that so it shows that i'm running on ios 17 developers beta so probably by next week or next to next week you will get to see the ios 17 public beta so then people will have access to the ios 17 public public beta whosoever have registered for the public beta so that's the new thing and let's talk about what are the new features we get to see with ios 17 beta 3 so the first thing i noticed if you go to the text message section and if you click on any of the message thread and click on the plus symbol so you can see that now in the photo section so your last photo will appear in the icon so that was not the case even with ios 17 beta 2 so it will just it used to just show a generic photo symbol but now uh, it, you know it will show you your last taken photo in this photo section so that's a nice change that you get to see with ios 17 beta 3 one more thing i have noticed with this weather application so weather application have been an always strong point for ios 16 and 17 but they have been continuously improving that so if i go down you can see that in this map now they have added a new option which says wind and you can see that near my area so it is actually right now 16 miles per hour the wind speed is so basically you can measure the wind speed and things like that now one more thing i have noticed that so you can see that this air quality bar or the you know section have been redesigned so previously if you look at your older devices on which you're running ios 16 or ios 17 probably the earlier betas you would see that the air quality uh, the font and this in the number and whether this the air quality is satisfactory or not so this all this have been redesigned and the font is little different so there's nothing new but i just wanted to highlight so there are changes in the weather application now the next change is regarding the photos so if you go to your photos application and if you go to the albums uh, and if you go to this recently deleted let me just unlock it and you can see that if i select all these photos and now i have a three dot instead of delete and uh, recover separate option here so if i just click on that i get to see delete and recover so all these are included in this three dots so previously it was not like that previously it was having a separate button to delete and recover but now it has been redesigned so these were some of the changes i was able to notice but now let's talk about and let's take a look at the release notes of ios 17 beta 3 if you have the feedback application you can see that and you can go through all the release node that is mentioned in this app so you can see that a uh, section for known issues and the new features and you know definitely if you go through this you would be able to understand what are the issues that have been resolved so you all know that you know ios 17 comes with the name drop so a uh, better version of airdrop so let's suppose these two phones are running on ios 17 on the same beaters then uh, if you just tap these phones together you would be able to sort of you know photo transfer or video transfer or file transfer and you know that has not been working properly with the earlier betas of ios 17 but with ios 17 beta 3 they have improved upon that so there are things that they have improved upon with ios 17 beta 3 but one thing i would like to mention here at least for this iphone 10r with this ios 17 beta 3 update there is no new modem firmware version 
I have heard and seen videos on YouTube if you are having or um, you know using one of the newer iPhones then you should have a new modem firmware so if you are having a different iPhone do check for a new modem firmware with iOS 17 beta 3. Now talking about uh, the other things I also check the battery life here this is my secondary device so I don't use uh, very much but if you take a look at the battery health so the battery health hasn't dropped uh, the obvious reason i don't use it that much so it is standing still at 88 percent and it supports the peak performance capability and also if you talk about the performance in general performance is good when i updated the device it felt a little warm and but once i updated so uh, you know the phone felt a little choppy for 15 to 20 minutes that was expected considering this is the oldest device iphone 10r uh, that supports iOS 17 right so you know the phone felt choppy for a little bit and then you know it it, it just uh, became fine so that's one thing I wanted to highlight but overall the performance is good there is no issue as such that I could notice and if you are interested in Geekbench 5 so I ran the Geekbench 5 as well so the single core score came in about 1124 and the multi core score came in about 2509 now I compared that to the uh, you know iOS 17 beta 2 and the single and multi core scores are exactly the similar so little bit here and there but there are no changes in the single core and multi score so you know then again that's it about this video i just wanted to highlight that we have received ios 17 beta 3 update this week so if you are using ios 17 then definitely you should be able to get this update so let me just uh, show you the update size one more time so if i go to the albums and if i go here so you can see that it came in about 836 on iPhone 10R. So if you're having iPhone 10R or iPhone 11, so it would be around one gigabyte. But if you're having a newer devices like iPhone 13 or 14, it will be definitely above one gigabyte. So let me know in the comment section whether you have installed iOS 17 or not, or if you're excited for the iOS 17 public beta release that is happening next week, let me know that in the comment section below. That's all for this video and I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.